Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. Today we are doing something a little bit different. It is Aliens, The Fate of the Nostromo. I have convinced my wife to play a game. Couldn't convince her to record her voice, so I am going to do a voiceover instead. Okay, so this is probably only our second game, so if we get stuff wrong, please forgive us. We are currently pulling the objective cards, which the first one was take our chances in the shuttle, where we had to deposit two canisters into the docking bay. Next card was, where is it? A flashlight needs to be taken to the med bay. And then the last one is crew meeting where all players have to reach the gallery at the same time with a scrap token each. We then get a random objective, which is the final objective. We don't find out about that until the very end. And the alien model starts in the nest. When it came to choosing our characters, we'd obviously played a couple of games, so we had a rough idea of what we were up to. I chose Dallas this time based purely off the objectives. He's got five actions, no special abilities, but he can move around fast. So it's going to be very helpful at grabbing stuff, getting around, maybe luring the alien away. And Mrs. Adventure chose Parker, who is obviously the mechanic in the movie, great character. He is a little bit slower than Dallas, but can create scrap, which is going to be real helpful for some of these objectives, i.e. the gallery one and making a flashlight for the med bay. Right, with that done, we move on to turn one, which starts off with misadventures, and she heads off to the hyper bay, hanging out, ready to grab that canister. She then got the encounter with Ash called Mother Order 937 which would force us to lose scrap tokens, but we don't have any, so it didn't really affect us, which is a great first card. Dallas, I moved to Mother to grab the canister, but I also pulled the alien card, which means he moves two spaces towards the nearest crew member. And that's it. That is a turn. Nice, simple, super clean. So we're now on to turn two. Mrs. Adventure picks up the canister and starts making her way down to the docking bay and then finishes a turn placing the canister which is a great move because we're now halfway through that first objective which is putting the canister in there unfortunately the alien obviously heard her clanging around because he moved two spaces towards her and actually hopped up scared poor parker and made us lose free morale and then she ran away off to the med bay which was another great move I'm now a bit cautious about the alien being in my way. But I am in mother, so I now pick up that scrap that was hanging out. And I'm going to head to the galley, which is hopefully a good place to be. If we can get Parker there, that might be done. But I also pull a stupid quiet card this time, which means the alien only moved one, but he is dangerously close to me. And I really am a little bit worried, but Dallas is shaking his ghost energy drink and making some, making some energy juice for himself. We then hop back to Miss Adventure's turn three, and she uses her scrap to make the flashlight, which then completes the second mission, which was bring a flashlight to the med bay. So that is now done. That was a great little move. She then moves out into the corridor and using her special ability makes herself some scrap loading herself up so she can do the gallery mission and then we get quiet again which brings the alien into the galley with Dallas I run off to the corridor near the hypersleep bay we lose two morale and that's not going too great for us but you know I'm in a good position as well We've probably lost half a morale already for this game. You can quickly lose the morale. You Luckily, the alien doesn't ever kill you. It just forces you to lose some morale. So it's now my turn, and I drop off the canister, and we've completed two of the three missions. Now, the problem is we need to get to the gallery with Scrap. The alien is there. I decided I'd try and move him, so I used the motion tracker, activated it, and drag the alien out to the docking bay but i didn't really think this through because it's the encounter card chances are the alien's going to move again which is a bit annoying but i'm moving into the galley i also forgot i just spent all my scrap on the motion detector so i got no scrap i'm at the galley <laughs> with no scrap 
Luckily, Parker, who can make scrap, can bring me some, make some, trade it over. We should be fine. Now, as I was mentioned, the nice thing about this game is the alien never actually kills your character off. You just get scared. If you reach the red square at the very bottom of the crew morale, it's game over. The alien has won. But ultimately, you can't die in this game, which is quite nice. We're not going to argue with that idea. It's a quite nice system. So as I pull the encounter card, it's everybody reports to the infirmary. Active player gets dragged into the infirmary. So I've gone from being in the galley to now being completely out of position and behind Parker again. Parker, no, no, got to get to that gallery, starts moving forward, and he creates some scrap as he goes. But the ship is very quiet. So when we pull the encounter card, the alien only gets to move one square, so he's just going to creep out of that little airlock and sneak into the corridor. It's always worrying. He's just, just like, where is he going? What's it going to do? Also, when you pull these encounter cards, there's usually stuff you have to put down, which you just saw happen there. Put two scrap in the galley and an encounter card, which we have to flip when we enter that room. I'm going to once again use my motion tracker. And I'm going to use it in the galley because I want to get rid of that encounter card. I don't want that surprising me when I go in. Now, unfortunately... I am more than two squares away, so I've got to move first, even though I want to do it. So I hop on over to where Parker is. I decide that's a bad idea, having us both together. I only had to be two squares away. It turns out it was the alien. So it's automatically moved to the galley. Plus side is no one was in there, so we don't get scared. I then decide to use my last action to do the motion tracker again. And there was nothing on that card. I then pull the encounter card and annoyingly we get quiet again which means it moves one so it moves towards Parker Parker gets scared we lose a couple of morale and then Parker runs away three spaces Misadventure decides to send it off to the bridge and then we lose the couple of morale I am now left with an alien very close to me I am not a super fan of this but we did decide that with it being turn five and Parker's move, if he moves into the galley and we get something that moves the alien, we'll send the alien after Dallas. Because then it's like I'm getting an extra move around. And obviously we'll keep her safe and keep the alien out of the galley as well. So Parker moves in, grabs some scrap, pretty much grabbed all of it until I was like, hey, I need some. So she put one back quite nicely. <laughs> And that is it for her turn. She then drew the encounter card, which will happen in a minute. We're arguing about whether she should buy a grappling hook or not. She will ultimately buy one, but for now, she decides to hold on to a scrap in case she needs it. Scoring alien move. Now, the alien is equal distance from both of us, so we get to pick which way it goes. I chose to take it, because then it lets me run away free, which puts me in a nicer position. Alien is now two spaces away from the galley, which allows me to move in, pick up the scrap. We're now both there. Flip the card over, and we're on to the final objective, which is blow it out into space. The iconic scene in the shuttle where it's flying out and gets burnt to a crisp. Love it. So this has a couple of rules on it. Step one, you had to reshuffle the used encounter cards back into the deck. Step two, you have to get the alien into the docking bay, which is where we placed those canisters earlier in the game, or it has to be adjacent to the docking bay in one of those corridors. And then for step three, one of the crew has to be in the airlock, which is the space all on its own with the two scrap tokens, and one has to be on the bridge. And then step four, you have to pull an encounter card. If it's an alien card... He's sucked out into space and you win the game. If it's any other card, you have to keep going. Now, to make it easier on everyone, there is another rule there that for every scrap counter you have, you can spend it to pull another encounter card. So it's going to be important that whoever's in that airlock is pulling 
the encounter cards because they're the most likely victim of the alien coming towards them and you've got to score that alien picture you, anything else doesn't work it has to say the word alien on the card so we have a little discussion here trying to work out who's going to do what it's decided that parker should go to the bridge he moves a bit slower dallas can get all the way over there and use the scrap and hopefully drag the alien out so that's the plan that's the plan of action we'll see how well it goes so it's still my go and i had a couple of moves left so i just went into the corridor to start setting things up and it's just the quiet and it creeps back into that galley cor corridor not where we want it to be but it's going to be parker's turn now so he's going to end up being further away than dallas so Dallas has to act as the bait and try and pull that super annoying Xenomorph into the airlock. So it's turn six for Parker. It's been decided we're going to buy a grapple gun because it does let you push the alien around if you use it. Could come in handy if the alien doesn't play the way we want it to. And Parker then moves on to the bridge. She tried to move to the airlock, but it's like, nope. Go to the bridge. She makes some scrap with her extra turn and she pulls the alien card. That's what we wanted when it was next to the airlock. But ultimately, the alien chases Dallas, which puts it in the adjacent square. I'm then fleeing three squares straight to the airlock. So it turns out I've ended up in the right spot. She's now in the right spot as well. So we've got Parker on the bridge, Dallas in the airlock. The alien is in the wrong spot. And it is now my go. I am, we're now trying to work out, have we just completed the game is what we're arguing about here. Quite comically, I'm like, ah, does this count? No, I pulled it before we got there. So I have to do my turn. I spend my first scrap token looking for an alien card. Now the rule is you either play the card or you put it at the bottom. I stupidly forgot that that was the rule and started playing the card. Luckily, Misadventures told me that I'm being an idiot. That wasn't the rule. But hey, that's just how it goes sometimes. You mess up. And she's politely telling me that I've got it wrong. And I'm like, what? And she's like, Alien goes back. You're not playing the card. You're putting the card at the bottom. You then spend an action, pick up two scrap tokens, then spend one of them to do the card pull again. Like, I'm glad she's here. Helps me with the rules, no end. Once again, I pulled another quiet. So I'm going to ignore it, put it to the bottom of the deck. This is getting tense. I've got an alien right on me. Last scrap token I got, and it was quiet again. So I failed to do it. I mended my turn. I have to pull an encounter card. And of course, it's the alien card. So the alien gets sucked out into space and is destroyed, winning us the game and the tokens party like it's 1999. So yeah, that's the game in full. I hope you enjoyed. Overall, I think the gameplay is really quick. Uh, apart from the couple of mistakes we made during the play, we had a lot of fun playing it. We ended up playing maybe four games in total in one evening. This game with setup took maybe 20 minutes tops. This was a very quick game, which I think was down to the fact that all our objectives were on the main deck. We never went down to the second deck. Uh, but in the other two games, we ended up dying in the first one, which was completely our own fault. Second one we won, which you just watched. And then the third one that we played afterwards, we died as well. So I think it is quite a difficult game. I could imagine if you had four players on the go, that alien is going to be jumping around the board like nobody's business. It's going to scare the life out of your players and probably win more times than not. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, if you got any questions about the game, let me know. If you want to see more of it, let me know as well. And I'm going to try and convince my better half to play a few more board games with me in the future. So expect a few more of these coming soon. But until the next one, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you very soon. Cheers for watching.